Quiet on the set. Camera's picking up all your volume, boys. I'm only gonna need one take, by the way. <laughs> when we started, back in my day, when we started, you burned a CD for a girl like a gentleman. Ignore everything that's going on over there. Fresh out the boat in the promised land, 24 hours got a gun in my hand. Sagebrush prayer fires I can see, God bless manifest destiny. And I had a hot drinking and a man a bad man, traded money for my soul and my quick hand. Contract pen for some men to be dead Paid me silver to fix it with lead Boats are circling overhead There's none but the my death song Covered in blood and on the sea red Living too fast and won't last long Ever on the run, never look back, son You live by the gun and you're gonna die young Sit on a cold, dark day, smell their fear from a mile away. Charged in fast as the morning broke, thunder and lightning in a cloud of smoke. Pistol flash fast as a cotton mouse fang, down the high valley it's been a rain. Ground got greasy as the blood soaked in. Not a single man ever stood again. Boats are circling overhead. There's a number to my death song. Covered in blood and on the sea red. Living too fast and won't last long. Ever on the run, never look back, son. Live by the gun and you're gonna die young. As my bounty grows, a dozen or so I laid in rows. Lone wolf never did need no pack. For my first trigger, I can never turn back. A flash of gunpowder in a streak of light. A fear it was banishing to the night. Sin and hate, I die right here. Ghost go west to disappear. Boats are circling overhead. There's a number to my death zone. Covered in blood and on the sea red. Living too fast and won't last long. Ever on the run, never look back, son. You live by the gun and you're gonna die young. Ever on the run, never look back, son. You live by the gun and you're gonna die young. A history of 
El Wencho, the Reader's Digest version. Our first gig was October 99 with a band called The Clintons. And we were more or less a Dave Matthews cover band with four or five originals. Because Dave Matthews owned the world and we were the only band in Bozeman that covered Dave Matthews, we were instantly popular. As our popularity grew, you know, I started writing more and the band started doing more and the next thing you know, you got an album and then you got another album. Our first foray into the duo thing was eight to 12 months after we first kind of started playing together on stage. We would get off the road and we would want to play more. John had asked me, I think, hey, let's, you know, you and I go out and play some stuff, just the two of us on a Wednesday. Played every Wednesday night for five straight years, except for Christmas one year. Of the six guys that were in the Clintons, I was the least experienced one of any of them. I was never formally trained in any kind of instrument. We would use those Wednesday nights to kind of run through songs, the two of us. We kind of knew when we first started playing that we just had something, but we also knew that we had to play. Like, we have to play. That was like the origin of the duo, and it was always a side project. Our kind of rule of thumb was if the band wasn't booked, then we would play a show because the band was priority. Well, then when we decided to kind of start cutting back on some shows because, you know, AJ was busy and Levi was busy and we were raising kids and all that stuff, that opened the door for John and I to kind of, if we wanted to play more, we could because there was a lot more time on the calendar. John has always been driven to be a musician. He's always had that gift. His kind of zeal for all things that are creating memories and creating music and creating art he needs a channel to get all that stuff out of him. Um, and whatever opportunity and people he can find to help him with that, he's going to. All right, so to answer your question, how'd this thing start? <sighs> a couple pints and a guitar, and here we go. And I got this idea for a song. And 20 years later, <laughs> I've got another idea for a song. <laughs> the ideas never go away. They seem we're crazy, like they got us figured out. I say we have fun, way more fun than anyone. So baby, pack your bags and finish your last beer. It's bye-bye, Bozeman, yeah, the countdown has begun. Got a tank full of gas, throw that throttle down. Million pounds of thrust beneath us, kicking off the ground. Our pale blue dot behind Falcon heavy on the right trajectory Partying through space and time and zero gravity You and me together in a capsule full of bliss Swimming through the starlight in that beautiful abyss It's a racing cars Jason's got a bowl and Bowen's at the bar Falcon heavy on the right trajectory partying through space and time and zero gravity you and me together in a capsule full of bliss swimming through the starlight in that beautiful abyss it's a Kicking off the ground and it 
it's burn, baby, burn. Climb, baby, climb. Hold on for dear life and kiss our pale blue dot behind. Falcon heavy on the right trajectory. Partying through space and time and zero gravity. You and me together in a capsule full of bliss. Swimming through the starlight in that beautiful abyss. It's a red dirt road trip, baby, here we come. A red dirt road trip, singing in the sun. Red dirt road trip, baby, here we come. A red dirt road trip, singing in the sun. went through a bunch of different names. We were John and Josh from the Clintons for a long time. Originally, El Wencho was the wench, and it was the heartless wench. There's the line from Ferris Bueller about, uh, where would you be, what if Ferris needed something from you someday? Then where would you be, heartless wench? And I like that line. So we were the heartless wench. That just got shortened to the wench by the people that used to come down and see us all the time. I was like, we, we're playing a lot more now. We should probably have a shirt and a hat or something. I went on my phone and I Google image searched band t-shirts. The band Jane's Addiction uh, had a shirt, and it was a purple shirt with like gray block letters, and it said Juanes Addiction. Like right away, for some reason, I called John, and John speaks pretty fluent Spanish, and I said, "What if we called ourselves El Wencho?" And he's laughing. We'll make a run of five shirts, five you know, five sizes each, and if they sell, cool, and if they don't, so be it. Then the merchandise took off. We were still the Wench. And then John made the suggestion that he's like, why don't we just make it all consistent? So that way people aren't, and I, there's still confusion, but people kind of know it goes hand in hand now, but that's kind of how the whole El Wencho thing came about. John has a really unique writing style. He always has. Dude, I'm a country guy. I'm a rocker guy. I love jazz and I love to dance and I love rhythm. Like why not just do your weird hip hop, reggae, pop, country stuff? Cause the people that like it will just come along. If it's too country for you, that's fine. Or it's too pop for you, whatever. But this is me. I don't know how to be anybody else. I get so high off the songwriting. Something out of nothing. I just have this riff idea. And what if I went to there? And what if I did this? And what if I did that? And next thing you know, you've got a four minute rocker that you're just like, yes. But the process is making me go gray and killing me slowly. I still don't consider myself a musician. I consider myself like a performer. I'm definitely way more of a musician than I ever have been. But I've always felt like, for me personally, using the term musician is kind of a disregard to people that are really good musicians. I always just say, I can play the way I can play. I had to pretty much create my own style because you don't usually see percussion like a Latin instrument in a pop or a rock or even a country Americana band. We're an acoustic duo and it's actually kind of a hard sell sometimes. And I don't blame people. I mean, we're acoustic by all technical means but we'd get kicked out of the library if we're in there. You know within a song whether you're gonna like us or not. And it's perfect, because you like us, welcome to the fold, come on in. And if you don't like our music, no worries. Go find music you do like. Go find people you love and be good to them. I got people I love. I'm gonna be as good to them as I can, you know? I feel like we do a really good job of being ourselves in our own unique way. I ain't maybe being single ain't so bad. There's a whole lot less of his BS. Lot less drama, baby, I confess. When love goes wrong like a breakup song, it can be a total drag. Hey, hey, maybe being single ain't so bad. One revolution round the sun. And then another one is a long time to be with someone But things ain't working out Each day is a disaster Followed by another This train keeps going faster Till it goes off the track Now baby, I'm the kind of girl Who's gonna try to make it work Why even bother when this ship is taking on water Hey, hey, maybe be a single lady there's a whole lot less of his BS, a lot less drama.
Maybe I can best and love goes wrong like a breakup song. It could be a total drag. I, I, maybe being single ain't so bad. If I won't stay up all night and do some buddy ride until the morning light, I answer to no one. Fun and get it done. Do the stride and proud in the morning sun. Baby, I ain't hurting anyone. I'm happy where I am. Because I'm the kind of girl who's gonna try to make it work. Why even bother when this ship is taking on water? Hey, hey, maybe being single ain't so bad. There's a whole lot less of his BS. Not less strong, baby. I can best when love goes. Song. It could be a total drag. I ain't maybe be a single ain't so bad. John and I, it's a full-blown marriage. It, it, it really is. Dog and I have been together longer than my wife and I have. And I've joked with her that if she leaves me, I'll be a mess. But if Dog leaves me, I'll be inconsolable and we'll never recover. And she doesn't appreciate that joke. John, there's not a lot of people that would be able to work with John. Uh, you would never know if that little 150-pound twerp snores like a chainsaw. I don't know how his wife does it. Katie, God bless you, darling. Oh. We're both extroverted people, but we're very different. You know, our personalities are different. What makes us tick is different. Sure, we might butt heads, but we're fine. We get along. When this whole thing does end up, you know, kind of, you know, it's going to be one of, us, one of us is in the ground, but... I'm done when I'm dead. <laughs> He's as true as the ruts in the highway, and me too. Like, this sucker's going down the road. When we're on stage together and he, you know, does something that totally pissed me off two seconds ago, and then he'll turn around and kick into a song and everything just goes away, because that happens. That happens every show, you know, and it's glorious. Especially at this chapter of our lives, we understand how important it is to just get together, spread positivity, and then go back to the grind of telling your, you know, my son, stop punching each other, boys, stop. Because there are musicians and there are warriors, and we are warriors. It's just, let's go play. And uh, the most talented musicians are usually not warriors. I will make fun of them incessantly, like, buck up, yeah, it's cold, let's go play. But I didn't want to go play. The world needs your music, go play. You know, anybody listening to this, if you play music, the world needs your music really badly, go play. So, all right, rant over. We're both stay-at-home dads when we're not on the road. It's awesome. I always say I'm a musician by profession, but my, my real job is being a dad. I really enjoy the balance that we have. My days usually consist of running errands and chores and stuff. Wednesday night, Thursday rolls around. I start itching to get out and go play. I wouldn't have it any other way. Everything in my life goes through the filter of marriage, music, Montana. I love being a dad. I love being married. I love being a musician. I've been to 35, 36 different states. And we live in such a cool country. But Montana's it, man. Montana's home. You know, I have a very patient, very supportive wife. I'm very lucky. And Kier, too, man. Kier's got a great wife. We're just, we're lucky. 
but that's life. You gotta have the right sweetheart, man. You gotta have the right sweetie. That's, that's key to life. It's not having a sweetie, it's the right sweetie, period. This is the whole reason why we initially started doing what we were doing. We wanted to get to a point where we could play the stuff we wanted to play. We could be gone as much or as little as we wanted. We would have plenty of time for our family. That was kind of like the reward, was being able to be where I'm at right now and have everything kind of just rolling along and it's all kind of self-sufficient and it all feeds into each other. Jenna grew up in Amsterdam, just outside of Bozeman. Bought a sample ticket to the Netherlands, dancing as she's going. Found herself in a district with a red light. Had herself a magic cook and now she's all right. Pounce in a pub and it's gonna be a good night. That's when she saw him. They traded smiles, he's headed her way. Small town Montana girl, what you gonna say? Polly Booth on sight. It don't matter anyway. Cause I'm so far gone. Anything you say just turns me on. Lock eyes, no words. Place is too damn loud. It's so absurd. His hand takes hers. Heads all a mess and a brain's a blur. His rock star jaw and all his skin. Waking up the animal room deep within. Never heard the song, she's American. Doesn't speak the language. He pulls her close. She's trying to be smooth. Small town Montana girl, let's see you make your move. Holly Boop on sight. It don't matter anyway. walking arm in arm down by the river in the light of the stars and baby it gets better than locking lips on a bridge over the water the evening's cool the moment's getting hotter piling boom boom saint playing music together for 20 years now. I can't believe that this is something that we're still doing, especially the two of us, you know? 20 years, that doesn't even compute. It's still a work in progress. It's still very intriguing. Every time we go play, we love it. it brings me a ton of joy. Like, I like playing music for people. Best case scenario, it becomes this international phenomenon where we just sell billions of records and we are the most well-known musicians that have ever lived in the history of humanity. Not holding my breath. Worst case scenario, we play music to people that we love and we write music that gets us high and we make records that make us high. So really, there's no downside. That's why we keep doing what we do is because why stop when everything's lining out and we're happy? If you can play music for a living like we do and get to see the people that we get to see that have become family to us, Either one of us would say that this is, we've made it. Like, this is, and that's not cliche, it's true. The, what's the future of El Wencho? Global domination. One tavern and one song at a time. I'm a farmer. I'm a farmer, yeah. Cause I'm a farmer, baby. Sugar beets, sometimes winter wheat, alfalfa to break the dizzy cycle. I grow sugar beets, wet beets, a happy beet. I'm 
you sugar 